Hello students, in this video, I am going to introduce the topic Morphology of Flowering Plants. So, this is an introductory video. What is morphology? Morphology is the study of morphology is study of external and internal features study of external and internal features of various organs various organs of organisms okay this is uh, a branch of biology and suppose uh, uh, if we are talking uh, under botany then various organs of plants that is uh, the definition of morphology okay and now let us see this morphology is further divided for our convenience into different branches different branches for the convenience of study okay one is external morphology external morphology another one is internal morphology okay in shortcut i am using m here m for morphology so what is external morphology this is study of external features of different organs of plants okay so uh, as i am concerned about plants so i am using that now so study of external features of various organs of plants is called external morphology okay this is further divided into two branches one is uh, vegetative morphology vegetative morphology and the second one is reproductive morphology reproductive morphology So remember the plants will have uh, two types of uh, parts some are vegetative parts and some are reproductive parts so what are vegetative parts of the plants root stem and leaves root stem and leaves are uh, the vegetative parts then what are uh, reproductive parts flower fruit and seed flower fruit and seed are reproductive parts very simple so the study of external features of vegetative organs of the plants is called vegetative morphology so here we study about root stem and leaves or leaf and the study of uh, external features of flower fruit and seed so flower fruit and seed the reproductive morphology then let us come to this uh, internal morphology so this is study of 
internal features of various organs study of internal features of various organs and this is uh, further divided into three when we study internal structure you will find uh, some uh, units okay unit of life what is that unit of life cell so that is all that is called what cytology so study of cells cells and cell organelles the study of cells and cell organelles is called cytology or cell biology okay now we will see as plants are all uh, multicellular and you will find group of uh, cells and you know that the group of cells uh, uh, is called what tissue so the study of uh, tissues and tissue systems the study of tissues and tissue systems is called histology then the third one is anatomy so these tissues and tissue systems uh, how they are organized in different organs like root stem leaf that's why this is called anatomy or organography organography so this is what arrangement of tissues and tissue systems tissues and tissue systems in the various organs various organs is called what uh, uh, anatomy or organography okay now uh, uh, let us uh, get into the next one let us uh, look into the title morphology of flowering plants so what are these flowering plants so to understand that let us say the plant kingdom so the plant kingdom has almost uh, 5 lakh species 5 lakh species of plants and uh, you will find different uh, groups under this plant kingdom and what are those uh, different groups algae bryophytes pteridophytes gymnosperms and angiosperms okay and among these uh, five groups of plants okay the primitive plants are algae and there are aquatic plants 
the bryophytes are first land plants without vascular tissues and the tridophytes are first land plants with vascular tissues so during course of evolution okay so what are the first formed ones algae and after algae bryophytes came and after bryophytes tridophytes came and after tridophytes gymnosperms and after the gymnosperms angiosperms so the most primitive plants are algae and the highly advanced plants are angiosperms and these angiosperms they have produced flowers so that's why these are called flowering plants so i hope now you are understanding the title so morphology of flowering plants or you can uh, call this as what morphology of angiosperms okay but uh, uh, remember one thing that these algae and bryophytes do not have any vascular tissues and that's why we call them as what atracheophytes but uh, Theridophytes, gymnosperms, and angiosperms. This, all of them they have uh, the vascular tissues, xylem and phloem. That's why these three are called tracheophytes. Okay, but uh, now uh, our focus is uh, not on all these uh, plants. our focus is uh, on uh, uh, angiosperms so uh, to understand uh, these angiosperms let us say uh, a flowering plant or angiospermic plant a typical plant very thick uh, the means what i want to tell you now about uh, a parts of uh, a flowering plants what are the different parts parts of uh, a flowering plant okay so in a flowering plant you will find the two systems you know that plants are established at some place and they do not move from one place to other place and uh, the plant uh, remains attached to the ground or in the soil with the help of uh, root system so this is root system and the aerial portion of the plant is called shoot system so in a flowering plant you will find two systems one is root system and the other one is what a shoot system shoot system so the underground system is root system and the aerial system is shoot system and remember in the root system you will find what the root system is composed of is composed of a main root and the branches the branches and these branches are called what lateral roots and these lateral roots may in turn produce some more branches 
and which are called as sublateral roots okay lateral roots sublateral roots and these sublateral roots in turn may produce some more uh, short branches and uh, which are called uh, rootlets rootlets so that's what you will find in the root system and uh, let us say the shoot system so in the shoot system you will find uh, different organs you will find the main axis and that main axis is called stigma main axis of the shoot system is called stigma and uh, on this main axis or the stem you will find what the uh, branches so branches and uh, whenever we examine a plant uh, we find uh, these branches are of uh, uh, different types like what okay some are old branches some are young branches and these old branches are called buffs and the young branches are called twigs and now uh, on all these branches you will find leaves and you can see the leaves are arranged acropetally that means what uh, the older leaves at the base and the younger ones toward the apex and when you take a branch or the stem you will find a leaf let us say this is the leaf leaf and you will find the upper surface and the lower surface for the leaf so dorsi ventral leaf and uh, you see let us consider this as axis whether it is uh, main axis or uh, branch axis axis and uh, this angle the upper angle between the the leaf and the axis is called axil the upper angle between the leaf and the axis is called what axil okay what i want to tell you is at every tip of the branch you will find some structure and also in the axils of the leaves also you will find some structures okay what are these structures okay these are called buds they are called buds and these buds are of uh, two types that is terminal buds and axillary buds and these terminal buds are also called uh, apical buds in the similar way the axillary buds are also called lateral buds and you can see at what is this terminal bud the terminal buds are present at the tips of the stem and also at the tips of all branches that is terminal bud and the terminal buds uh, uh, are composed of what meristemal tissue what meristemal tissue apical meristem and they help in the, the growth of uh, this uh, stem as well as the branch then what about uh, the axillary bud the axillary buds are present in the axils of the leaves they are also composed of what meristemal tissue so that means in all both these uh, uh, terminal buds and axillary buds what tissue is present meristemal tissue and what meristem apical meristem and what we call this apical meristem present in these buds shoot apical meristem shoot apical meristem
which can be abbreviated as SAM, that is shoot apical meristem. Okay, these uh, axillary birds, uh, what is the function of these axillary birds? The axillary birds will help in the formation of branches. And of course, uh, on the stem, uh, these branches are always present uh, uh, on sides. So, that is why the branches are called lateral branches. And uh, uh, from where they are originating? They are originating from axillary birds. That is why the other name for axillary birds is also lateral birds. Okay. So, like that uh, you will find uh, these things and of course you remember one thing that in a flowering plant you will find uh, two phases. One is vegetative phase and the other one is reproductive phase. So, during vegetative phase, the plant will show vegetative growth, that is growth of vegetative organs. Already, we discussed that what are vegetative organs, root to stem leaves are vegetative organs. And during reproductive phase, so the plant produces flowers. The flowers after the uh, completion of fertilization become fruits and those fruits will contain seeds. These are all what reproductive organs, flower, fruit and seed are reproductive organs, they are formed during reproductive phase. But from where the flower will develop? That becomes the question. Do not forget that there is one statement regarding flower. Flower is not a special organ, it is only a modified shoot is what it is only a modified shoot, modification of shoot system. Means what in some plants, so what will happen, you, you, you just check whenever you come across with any flower, you will find some plants will produce flowers in the axils of the leaves. That indicates that the axillary bird instead of becoming a branch became what flower for the purpose of reproduction. And in some other plants, you just examine you will find the flower at the tip of the branch or a cluster of flower that is inflorescence at the tip of the branch that indicates that terminal bird became flower or inflorescence. So, this happens during reproductive phase. So, uh, that is what you will find in the parts of a flowering plant.